Let's see how to create an issue in Jira Cloud. From just about anywhere in Jira, simply click the Create button in the navigation bar to start creating an issue. The Create Issue screen appears where you enter information describing the issue. The Create Issue screen in Jira Cloud is similar to the one in Jira Server, but the order in which the fields are listed is slightly different, and some default fields are not included. You may see more or fewer fields depending on how your team's administrator has configured your JIRA project. For this tutorial, we'll be using JIRA's default field configuration. Just like JIRA Server, you select the target project, select the issue type, and enter the name of the issue in the summary field. At this point, if you're only working with the default issue fields, you've entered the minimum required information for an issue. So you can simply click Create. But let's not do that just yet. Let's explore some of the additional options. You can add attachments to the issue by dragging files directly to the browser, or you can browse Dropbox, Google Drive, or recent uploads to select files. Use the description field to enter descriptive information about the issue. Using the controls at the top, you can format your text. In Jira Server, the description field provided the option to edit in visual mode, where all formatting is instantly visible, or in text mode, where formatting is indicated by markups. In Jira Cloud, editing and formatting can only be done in text mode. To view the final formatted version, you need to click the Preview button. Click the Preview button again to return to the editor. After the issue is created, the description will appear properly formatted when anyone views the issue. You can link this issue to another existing issue and specify the type of relationship they have. You can designate an assignee and set the issue's priority. And finally, you can add labels and link the issue to an epic. Now, when you're ready, click Create to create the issue. Your newly created issue can be found on the project board, or in the backlog if you're working in a Scrum project. Be sure to check out other tutorials in this series to learn more about Jira Cloud.